We knew this presidential election year would be one for the record books, and it's turned out exactly that way, as Hillary Clinton tries to enlarge the number of decades in which a Clinton or a Bush has been on a presidential ballot, seeking four decades of Bushes and Clintons, a worthy goal, perhaps electing the first woman president as well, perhaps the first president ever without previous public service of any kind in his entire experience. And who would have dreamed history would also this year be made by an 83-year-old Supreme Court justice who's become so exercised about Donald Trump that she can't contain herself or constrain her invective against Trump, who in fact is becoming more heated and hurling insults that are unheard of in American history. It just isn't done. At least it hasn't been done until now. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg has gone after Donald Trump in a series of interviews now, first crossing the line by making clear her preference for president when asked about the possibility of Donald Trump winning the White House. Ginsburg said, quote, I don't want to think about that possibility. Ginsburg later in a New York Times interview floated the idea of leaving the country if Trump wins saying, I can't imagine what this place would be. I can't imagine what the country would be with Donald Trump as our president. Well, Ginsburg didn't stop there. Late yesterday, she called Trump a faker in a CNN interview. And critics will say Ginsburg's obvious preference for Hillary is itself rooted in history. Hillary's husband, William Jefferson Clinton, appointed Ginsburg to the high court. It always comes back to the Clintons, doesn't it? Donald Trump firing back today at the justice, calling her criticism highly inappropriate and a disgrace to the court, adding that he hopes she will get off the court as soon as possible. Even Democrats acknowledge Justice Ginsburg has crossed a very important line between at least the appearance of an impartial judiciary and partisan politics. I agree with Trump. Ginsburg has set a dangerous precedent with her comments that are unprecedented themselves in the entire history of the republic. Until now, the American people were, I think, appropriately critical of both Congress and the Senate, uh, and of course, the presidency itself. And now, the Supreme Court. Obviously, every bit is partisan. And with that, Justice Ginsburg has assured that our three branches of government are indeed co-equal at least in the disregard of the American people. What a year this has become.